Flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm, and I wanted to introduce you guys to some new additions to the farm. And I'm so excited because this is something that I've been wanting for many years now. If you haven't noticed the little ones behind me, we have some new ducklings, and I'm completely in love. So, this is not our first go around with ducks. We had ducks for many, many years. We received our first ducklings and we started out with two, and then we quickly expanded to, I believe we had 12, and uh, we ended up losing quite a few to um, a predator. And this was at our old house. But I started out with ducklings called Pearl and Pepper, and they were uh, amazing. They really were. And we ended up expanding and we brought home Henry and then Henry and Pearl had babies and we just had a duck city going on. We actually called it the poultry palace, Pitt's poultry palace. It was kind of funny, but anyway, what wasn't funny was um, the predator that we had at our old property was just, um, just relentless. We were losing one to two ducks a week and it was just not okay. So I ended up calling a duck farm that was over by our old property and I said, I cannot risk having the rest of my ducks um, just be slaughtered. So we had the, um, the duck farm come and pick up the rest of our ducks. But ever since, I have greatly missed having ducks. Ducks, uh, I always said I'd never have ducks again because they're the messiest animals that I've ever owned. They are the stinkiest animals that I've ever owned. But they also are really, I don't know, in my experience, they've been super friendly and I'm so excited that we have them again. I'm getting pecked at. <laughs> okay, so you guys wanna meet the littles. Okay, so, um, oops. I'm sitting on grapes because I don't know if you guys know this, but grapes are like a favorite snack of our ducks anyway. I know, you wanna come here? If you've never been around a baby duck, they do something, I call it chattering because I don't know what it actually is called because I've never looked it up, but I'm sure there's a name for it, but where they put their beaks on you and they just almost like a tiny vibration. Um, so they like to chatter and it's very, it's, it tickles a lot. Oh, hi. Okay. So the breeds that I had in the past, I had, um, let's see, Henry was a Cayuga duck. And then the other girls that I had, um, Pearl, Pepper was a boy, but they were Khaki Campbell ducks. And these ducks are a breed called Welsh Harlequin. And I've seen them on other farms and I fell in love with their beauty. So here I have four ladies and one gentleman and the girls are called the Ellas. We have Ella, Stella, Cruella, Umbrella, and then we have Bob. What about Bob? I had to. <laughs> and Bob has a red piece. Where are you, Bob? There's Bob. This is Bob. <laughs> Bob's got a little bit of a, a red uh, band on his leg, so I know who Bob is. Ducks are just the sweetest. Hi, Bob. You gonna you gonna chatter on my nose? I've had them chatter on my eyelashes before. You pull them right out on my lips. You just chatter on everything, don't you, Bob? I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to tell the girls apart. Oh, Bob pooped on me. They poop all the time. Ugh. But I have some experience with cooking with duck eggs, and I used to sell duck eggs at our old house as well. So I, I imagine we might start doing that again. But for ducks, you know, that's not gonna be a tremendous amount of duck eggs. We might get a dozen a week, you know? So I'm not doing it for um, the production of duck eggs. I just really am doing it for the company. Um, and I also, I had ordered a goose. I envisioned having a goose for a best friend and I have gotten into arguments with people because some people have horrible experiences with geese and other people have amazing experiences with geese. But I think the louder ones are gonna be the people who had bad experiences with the geese. So if you got a goose story, drop it in the comments. But anyway, I always envisioned having a, a goose best friend and I had ordered a goose and the company called me the other day and unfortunately, they had some fertility issues with their eggs and there were no baby geese. So maybe next year I'll add some geese to the farm. So we'll see, maybe 2023 is the year of the goose. <laughs> He's already named and everything. It's okay, it's okay. 
So I'm gonna leave you guys with some ridiculously cute duck footage. But yeah, so the Ellas and Bob. So they are in a bulb crate right now. It's actually perfect for ducklings. Um, for their first couple of weeks, ducks grow tremendously fast. They're only about five, six days old and they're already doubled in size. So much like chicks, but they grow even faster than chicks. So they don't get their, their waterproof feathers for a few weeks. So I'm not gonna be putting them in any cold water because they are like chicks. They need to maintain that you know, 90, 95 degree atmosphere. So they have, they're in a brooder in my garage i just take them out for like half an hour and put them in this little playpen i know so they're only in this little makeshift duck playpen for about half an hour a day they like to stretch out they like to run around um they really really do and uh they're amazing so they're only out here for about half an hour a day i do not leave them out here unattended i sit here right on this bulb crate and yesterday i was actually i had my feet in there i was sitting in here with the with the ducks and um i have like a scratch on my ankle and they kept trying to <laughs> They kept trying to bite at it. It was so ticklish. I was squirming. I would and I could spend all day with these ducks. We do not have a standing pond on the property, but what we do have planned is I'm so excited because we purchased one of those large landscaping pools, like the ponds that you would get for like a koi fish or something like that. It's quite large. It's like five by four feet. And uh, we're going to turn that into a duck pond. We are not going to bury it. It's going to be up above ground and we're going to landscape around it. So it has a drain and a pump and a filter so that we could clean it out every couple of days because ducks make a mess. Because when I had ducks previously, we used a little $5 kiddie pool, right? Um, and that was okay, but you had to like lift it and drain it. And, and a lot of people use that and it's no problem, but I wanted to kind of just get something a little bit more efficient, something that I didn't have to sit there and lift up and dump and fill and clean every day. So this pond is gonna have like a whole system with it, with its filtration and a pump and all that stuff. So I think it'll just make it a little bit easier to maintain the duck pond. So I'm very excited about that. It's a little bit bigger than a kiddie pool. It's deeper, it's definitely deeper. So they'll be able to do like their, their little dives that they do and stuff like that. I am excited for them. I cannot wait to let them have their first swim. And that's about it. So they'll, um, they'll have their own little area separate from the chickens. And uh, the thing with ducks is they don't like to put themselves to sleep at night like chickens do. Chickens, at, when it starts to get dark, they go in the coop, they perch, they get up on their roost, and that's it, you shut the door. The ducks, however, don't do the same thing. There were many nights where I had to chase the ducks into their pen. Um, and I think that that's why the term sitting duck is a thing because they like to sit in the water overnight. They sleep on the water. If you don't put them away, uh, um, in my experience. I mean, some people might have trained their ducks a little better than that. And sometimes all I had to do was go out there and say, all right, time for bed. And they go, da -da 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 -da, and they waddle over to their house and stuff. But it was a little bit more of an effort than chickens. So I don't mind though. You know, ask me a year from now if I mind, and I might change my story, but I missed Pearl and Pepper so much that um, I was definitely willing to put up with the stink and the mess to have duck cuddles. Okay guys, I'm gonna have to go right now because I have to harvest every single stinking stem in the hoop house because I am having a huge bouquet bar tomorrow night. I am going to just cut everything down. I really do need to turn it over for the dahlias. What, who's making all that noise? Chickens. Is there a chicken on the porch? Get, get down. Yes, there was a chicken on the porch gone okay all right what i remember what i was saying okay big bouquet bar yeah tomorrow night so i'm harvesting everything that's in the hoop house that's ready and good to go right now and i'm opening up the flower hill farm perch 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 got poultry on the brain i keep saying perch so i'm opening up the porch for a big bouquet bar tomorrow night and everything in the hoop house it's gotta go it's gotta go anyway guys thanks for sticking around oh yeah i'll make a video about that i'm gonna probably wear the same clothes so if you see me wearing this outfit it's because it's the same day so anyway I just left my hair salon. My boy Tommy is hooking me up. He even waxed my eyebrows today. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for sticking around, guys. We'll see you soon. That's my eye, Bob. That's my eye. I love you. 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 So they're only in this pay playpen. Are you in a playpen? Patrick. <laughs> It tickles so much, they keep trying to stop. You're so sweet. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Creepy. Oh, you're fast. Who 
went to Grapey. <laughs> Under my umbrella, Ella, Ella, eh, eh, eh. Where is Bob? You can't let Umbrella have them all. Yes. Bob. Bob. Oh, you're just so smart. Yes, you are. Bob, you want some? Come here, Bobby. Umbrella. Hi. You're gonna crawl all over me. You're tickling me. You're gonna sit in my hand. I love when you sit in my hand. Why are you so cute? Oh, do you see this, guys? What are you doing? I wanna spend all day with you. Me and my Bobby McGee. Hey, Bobby. Oh, Bobby. Oh, Bobby. And they go, da 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 and they waddle over to their house. 